I have today appointed an independent task force to carry out a comprehensive forensic audit of our public debt and report to us in the next three months after extensive consultations struck a middle ground and we will be proposing to the National Assembly a budget cut of not the entire 346, but a budget cut of 177 billion and borrowing the difference. No state officer or public servant shall participate in public contributions or haram phase going forward. 47 state corporations with overlapping and duplicating functions will be dissolved. The decision to fill the position of chief administrative secretaries is hereby suspended. The number of advisors in government shall be reduced by 50% within the public service with immediate effect. Budget lines providing for the operations of the office of the first lady, the spouse of the deputy president, and the prime cabinet secretary will be removed. The budget, the budget provisions for confidential budgets in various executive offices, including my own office, have been removed, and the budget for renovations across government reduced by 50%. Public servants who attain the retirement age of 60 shall be required to immediately proceed on retirement with no extensions to their tenure of service whatsoever. The purchase of new motor vehicles by the government is suspended for 12 months, except for security agencies, while a new policy on transport for public officers will be developed. All non-essential travel by state and public officers is hereby suspended.